Hey y'all, Jay Z at Avis Ford, sitting in a new Mach E Mustang full electric car. Um, quick video, run through some of the things, some of the controls, things that I've found. Obviously, any questions, anything specific, throw those in the comments and I'll get back with you on that as soon as I can too. So, I'm gonna spin you around here and wanna walk through a few things. So, in front of us, we're looking at the main display and I'm in front of the steering wheel, okay? Bring you back just a little bit. Pretty similar to the other Fords. Um, obviously, the gauge cluster here is totally different. You've got your battery percentage on the left with range. Uh, center shows the car, which is also showing the adaptive cruise control features, as well as the lane keeping beside the car with the lines you can see there that are in gray next to the car, so you have a visual in front of you if the car is reading the road lines. This over here will be the big new thing, Sync 4A, okay? Short, short, short version, climate control down on the panel. All of your car settings and drive mode controls and all those things run off the top corner button that looks like the car on the outside. Driver assistance for the safety settings, driving modes, for those different parts, one pedal driving. That's new this year in these. And then regular settings inside of there, these are all the car settings. Program your phone, create your profiles, connectivity, all those things are inside of that menu. The menu button, six dots on top center, is where you would access, think of this like an app page. Radio, phone, navigation, CarPlay, etc. all driven off of that. Bring you back out, main screen for nav. Down on the console, USB ports everywhere. Left side of that panel is the wireless charger because there's now wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, so there's no need to plug the phone in if you've got one that supports that. And then rest of the console, pretty standard on Ford now, the rotary dial for the shifter, um, active park assist, hazard lights, and parking brake are located there. I know it's a short one, but um, comment me with questions, and we'll get all those answered too. You'll have a great day. Thanks.